Hi everybody, welcome to a brand new project. This is Orchids and Cats from Stamperia. This was designed for Scrap and Create, and you can get all your supplies there. I'll have a link down below. It is a mini album, as you can see. The covers are six and a half by six and a half, and the pages are six by six. It has a two and a quarter inch spine, so it's a pretty chunky little book. And that's the back. And if you'll notice, one, two, three, it has three signatures or three pages. I use the um, folded pocket page technique to make the pages. So it's, like I said, quite a chunky little book. And it has a double seam binding closure, if you can see. There's two seam bindings. Let's take a look. All right, so we have a little, I have quite a few chipboards throughout. There's one here, there's one on the spine. I use this one for a tuck on the inside front cover. We have just a flap here. There is space for side pocket inserts. I did not make them. I didn't think I needed them by the time I got to the end and I had so much going on. I have a chipboard here and a chipboard here. And just a pocket. This is a pocket with just a um, matted cut apart in it. I did use two 8x8 and two 12x12s to make this. I only used about half of the second 12x12. 12 12. Here's a pocket, and this is a tag, and just a matted cut apart. This is a matted, excuse me, matted cut apart made into a flap. And here we have a belly band with just an insert. And then it has a waterfall on top that I won't, I won't flip it a little bit these are the small cut aparts from the 8x8 plus some other papers that I used to mat that okay. and then here we have a flap that opens all the way and is an envelope if you've ever seen my Voyage Fantastique album I just replicated that clock page that we did in that book with the tuck, uh, tuck spots. And this is a stacked pocket. And this is um, just a little matted card, but this is a tuck spot. And then this is um, another just a matted card for photos in the upper pocket. And this page just has a little tuck spot using one of the circles from the 8x8 collection. This is an accordion pocket, just right now has a matted cut apart in it, but there's plenty of room in there. And then this page is plain. And then here we have another belly band, this one a plain one, and it has a little booklet in it. And then this matching page here has a pocket with a matching little booklet in it. Like that. And then here we have a pocket with a couple of bookmarks from the collection and a matted cut apart. This is a little belly band that's sitting on top of a pocket. And just a little matted card inside. And then this is a series of flaps. There we go. Held with a little magnet there. These are cut aparts from the 8x8. Uh, this little pocket here, I saw Gail Augustinelli make. Um, she made it as a tag. And I will have a link down below too. I'm going to tell you who it was. Septeria 18. Um, she's the one who actually designed this uh, as a tag in a slightly different size. Um, I changed the size and adapted it and made it into a pocket. And I have a um, little tag in the top. And I need to make a little something because um, I forgot that this right here is also a pocket. And then this opens up like so and flips this way and this way and then we have another little tuck spot there 
So it's a fun little um, piece. I think I'll probably do it again. I like the way it looks and it fills up a page nicely. But I do need to make a second little something to put in there. I just forgot about it. Okay. That is that. All right, let me get that tied. So I will um, have a cutting guide, of course. Now, I haven't done it yet. Uh, if you're watching this video as it's being posted originally, um, it'll probably be a few days before I have part one of the tutorial. I have a lot of editing to do. And then the cutting guide, if you see it, uh, check down below. It may be linked down below. Uh, if it's not, I just haven't finished it yet, and it will be uh, in the next, you know, in the first video in the tutorial series. Um, again, everything is from Scrap and Create, and I will have a link down below for that as well. Um, make sure you go there and, and get your stuff and support them, support my channel. We really appreciate it. Um, I've bought all my Stamperia there for years. They have everything. It's awesome. Um, I guess that's it. Um, so stay tuned. Part one will be up in a couple of days, most likely. And it's a pretty long one. We have a lot going on in this album. I'm not sure how many videos they're going to be, but it'll be quite a few. Um, and so I appreciate your patience with that. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.